So you may have seen these Louis Vuitton lock chains around previously. They are starting to get a little bit more popular. They're selling really well on Grailed and other online streetwear platforms. But what most people don't know is they're actually super easy to get your hands on for quite cheap. There's kind of like a plethora of ways to get your hands on these. You can actually order them like in huge scale bulk from Louis Vuitton themselves. So if you're thinking of blowing this business plan up huge, go that way and contact Louis Vuitton yourself. But for me personally, I only do the small scale. So later today I'm meeting up with my local plug who's gonna sell me three of them for 90 Canadian dollars. That equates to like 65, 70 USD. So I'm getting them for quite cheap. So do a little bit of math, divide that price by three. Um, I'm really only paying like $22 USD per lock and uh, key. So if we look at Grailed really quick, we can actually see what they're selling for on here. Okay, so we're on Grailed right now. We're gonna look at sold listings. These are listings that have already sold for these amounts. We're looking at this one sold here for 135, this one sold for 165. I mean, for us here, we're only putting in about $20 per lock and key. So we're gonna end up making quite a bit of money. And the thing is, it's actually super easy to flip these. The only kind of hurdle that we're gonna run into is making them look nice. They are made out of like brass, which is a metal that tarnishes super easily. So when we first get our hands on them, chances are they're gonna be like really dirty, dark, scratched up. But luckily there is a thing called metal polish that you can acquire at places like Walmart, Amazon, wherever. So uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna get on up out of here and go pick that up, so let's go. Okay, so now that we got the metal polisher, the next thing we have to pick up is gonna be a chain, the actual necklace. Uh, at this point, you can kind of be creative. If you wanna go buy something expensive, go do it. If you wanna just make something yourself, do it. But for me, I am gonna to go to a place called Michael's. It's like an arts and crafts store. I try going to places like Top Man and a few other like smaller jewelry stores to try and find like something middle of the road. But uh, I don't know, I can never find a good alternative. So really I'm just going to buy kind of a cheap one because typically when you see them selling online, people will just be like, I don't know what the chain is, don't ask me. The real reason people are buying it is because of the LV lock. So the necklace doesn't really matter too much. So I think going with a cheap alternative is a good choice. financial district of Vancouver about to roll in on Michaels it's kind of tight in there so I'm probably not gonna film but uh, yeah if you are based in Canada I would recommend Michaels as a place to get your chain that was a success just got out of Mikhail's um, my god it's loud down here um, yeah so I picked up this it's just like a three-piece necklace set just basic gold has little clasps on it I'll probably have to cut it a bit shorter because it looks really long but yeah, they have tons of different colors in there, anything from silver to gold to brass. So you're basically set in there. So let's just get home now and uh, make this thing happen. Hey guys, we're back at the house now. Got all the Louis locks, we're ready to go. They actually are a little bit more tarnished than I was even expecting them to be. So we definitely are going into a bit of a challenge right now to make these look like they're brand new. But I do think we have everything we need here. We have the brasso, we got a sponge for cleaning it, we got the chains, paper towel for cleanup. I was stupid enough to not buy gloves, which I would definitely recommend do buy gloves because this stuff is like a very, very strong chemical. I would not suggest getting it anywhere near your skin. So I'm just going to uh, use the Ziploc as a glove. All right, nevertheless, let's get started. Um, pop open the brasso. I already have some on my finger. I managed to do that before I even got it near the lock. So basically once you have the brass on your sponge, just start rubbing it into the lock. Maybe I'll take the key out first, that typically helps. Yeah, just start rubbing. So the only thing I didn't really mention is like getting into the crevices of the LV on the front and the Louis Vuitton on the back. I tend to use a Q-tip because you can really get in there and kind of clean out those crevices. But other than that, this thing is looking really good. I'll throw up a comparison of what it looks like compared to the other one. But 
yeah, that looks great. Massive improvement. I actually only spent like five minutes on this one. So let's just throw this around the lock and put it on. Before you guys go ahead and click off of the video, make sure you leave me a like down below and a comment. Let me know if you're going to keep the lock to rock it or if you're going to sell it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.